Hello, this is a tutorial requested um, by a guy uh, on YouTube. Um, it's uh, this bass sound that uh, kicks in uh, somewhere here. Kinda sounds like that uh, bass that Zed uses a lot. Um, I made it in a massive, it sounds like this. Also you can put some uh, noise on uh, on this, uh, here, uh, or you can um, add another synth and add a noise in that to make it more clean. Like that. Uh, but anyways, I'll show you how to make this synth. Uh, first of all, you start start off with a saw wave here, down to octaves. Uh, same here, uh, saw wave, but this is going to be on band minus. Uh, you can try using uh, different settings here. It's going to change change the sound a bit. Um, also down to octaves. Uh, here's a sine wave. Uh, the amp is down a bit. Uh, you can change this around too to get some cool effects like this. Actually, sounded better when it was over here. Um, yeah, uh, you can also add some facing. I always do that on synths just to try it out. Um, feedback over here, sine shaper, bit crusher. Um, yeah. Uh, this high pass filter is only for the noise here. You can see that I th this is sent to filter 2 here, uh, and this is sent to filter 1, all of these three. Um, the band pass is really nice when uh, when you're doing these kind of basses, because uh, you can change the bass uh, in a pretty cool way just by changing uh, this cutoff a bit. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Yes, I think you do. Um, this is going to be all the way up, and this uh, thing here, it's controlling the volume of this noise. Uh, but yeah, uh, classic tube. Uh, this is going to be on a uh, bit under 9 o'clock, and this on uh, 11 o'clock. Uh, chorus is nice uh, in s uh, sometimes on basses, I find. Uh, maybe not if you put distortion afterwards that I've done here, but uh, yeah, we can try it. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. So yeah, you can add that too if you want to. Um, boost some high shelf. These settings are uh, really um, up to you. Uh, you can change the sound totally just by... I'm gonna show you again. Listen now. <laughs> Yeah, um, mess around with that. Uh, I can't really hear if it sounds good or not, but I, I try this on on some decent speakers. I'm on headphones now, and the headphones really sucks, but the microphone is pretty good, so that's why I use them. Um, unison on two. It's gonna be on mono. Uh, you pretty much always wanna keep your basses in mono. Um, yeah. Um, uh, some glide here and some vibrato, but I uh, didn't put this on or anything. This is just default. Uh, this thing here, uh, he's pitch bending the bass after a while in the song, so he's doing something like this. You don't need to do with this pitch bend in massive, you can do it in in the uh, automation later. <laughs> something, something like that he's doing. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, it. Try messing around with this <laughs> facing too. Um, also, this um, omnicide here uh, is really nice. Uh, it's the default patch. Um, you put this on like 17 or 18, and this is gonna be pretty low because otherwise you're gonna fuck up the sound if you put it up here. <laughs> well, okay, it sounded pretty cool. Um, 
so yeah, that's what I did there. This is just side chaining, and this EQ I found find is uh, pretty cool if you remove some of this uh, 1040 here uh, and some uh, uh, stuff here. Uh, you can listen to it with or without. And also, I boosted a bit here, so you can just copy off how that looks. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's it. Hope this helped the person that wanted to uh, see a tutorial on this. Um, yeah.